I hope everyone is enjoying the weather no matter where you live. Hopefully it's a gorgeous day out for you. And I hope you, you, your family and friends are having a great time. Michael Phoenix here, founder of the magazine. Uh, currently on Canal, Dolphin Street, Canal Road, Water Street, um, going from Allentown to Caddy. For three different names for this one, everything from Google Maps to the look to uh, local names for it. It's it's the road. It's the road. The road connecting Union Boulevard, but right out to Toman Street Bridge to Katasakwa. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, on May tenth, Saturday. Over in East in the farmer's market, moved from the indoor version to the outdoor version, weather permitting, over in the circle in Easton. Well, on May Saturday, May 17th, had a chance to get my to get my ass out there and check it out. Now I've been there last year, which and did an article on it. But I want to see if anything changed this year. It was supposedly a lot. They improved and evolved it. And by the way, in case you haven't noticed, it's not the smartest thing in the world to do at points walking on this road. So I'm also trying to make sure that this is not the last article I do for the magazine. <laughs> but anyway, well, I decided to head over there, like I said, and check it out. It was a beautiful day. Wind chilled it down a little bit, but a great day to be outside for this. Well, they also had... Um, an interesting, they also had an interesting theme for the family and kids there, <laughs> uh, where they had live animals, um, and a lot of things to do for, now this is very family friendly to begin with, okay, but this one had live farm animals and a lot of things to do in the one corner, in the one section for the kids. Now, farmer's market, I don't know if you may have been to one, you may not. It's kind of like a flea market style where you have a lot of local businesses come out, um, you know, and basically you walk around, you grab, a, you grab a something to eat, you know, you grab something to eat, pick up some local products and, you know, locally grown food. Well, this one is, it's supposed to be, from what I saw on the one sign, the longest outdoor outdoor running flea market uh, I'm sorry farmers market in the country so Easton there's a lot of history here in Lehigh Valley and this is no exception to it but last year my main problem with it was on a lot of occasions the circle itself right around the statue is not all that large of an area and a lot of it was confined to just the circle. So the downside to it was with everything being packed in so tight, it was tough to move around because that farmer's market draws a huge crowd. Well, this uh, on Saturday, what they did was they expanded the activities and they closed off one quarter of the, one quarter of the circle for a stage for live music and for you know for activities great idea I loved it because this way it also it freed up space in the circle so you can move around and check out the different local businesses and local vendors there um, hopefully they will continue to do this it creates kind of a a little bit you know, slightly interesting traffic pattern there, but the way the city's set up around the circle, it's easy to get around it. Um, so yeah, it's it's definitely, in my opinion, last year was cool. This year, the way he evolved it is even better. Um, I know they're going to start up what they call wire, what's called Wirebacher Wednesdays, which will be on a Wednesday, Wednesday evening, weather permitting, during the summer. And it's just, one thing about the Lehigh Valley is, it is starting to become almost closer and closer 
to an ideal balance here between the new the new technol you know the new technological and modern world we live in and while keeping its history alive and by keeping the history alive I mean not okay well the Hess building used to be here look at the steel stacks and remember the great Bethlehem steel not saying anything bad about that it's great to look back and realize and know where we came from but the whole area is becoming closer and closer to an ideal balance of the living history. The Eastern Farmer's Market, I mean, it's a great place where, you know, watch the old movies. Uh, families used to go out on a, you know, on a Saturday morning and you didn't get your, you didn't get your food from a major grocery store. You got it from your local farms. And this is what, you know, you would go outside, you know, Everybody would set up and it'd be basically a local street fair, you know, and a, lo and a, you know, a, a local street fair every weekend. And that's what the Eastern Outdoors, the Eastern Farmer's Market is. The, the entire, all the businesses kind of like decided, okay, we're going to turn this into a day-long street fair, had their doors open and everything. So it's, you know... It's it's one of the many times where you, in the area where you hear me say, it's almost like going back in time, okay, when you go to this, where 100, 200 years ago, and where people would just get together during the day, before the days of technology and the, the smartphones and everything, and socialize, and meet new people, hey, how's it going, you know, and things like that. So, if you, this is great for the family, honestly. And also, take your pit, and also, the non human members of the family are welcome. So, a lot of people out there walk, giving their, giving their pets a chance to check things out and enjoy it. Um, if you're in the area on a Saturday, the only thing that I strongly recommend is if they're calling for rain or if it looks like it might rain, keep an eye on the radar and keep an eye on the skies because that's the only thing that kind of uh, is touch and go with this but it's like that with any other outdoor event also so you check them out on the on online if you're in the area stop by and you know even if it's only for a few minutes uh, parking might be interest you know might be interesting at times but it's definitely worth checking it out and you know, and maybe picking, you know, maybe picking up some, like, local, uh, especially a lot of places are now emphasizing the organic, um, which if you get it right from a farm, yeah, chances are it's organic anyway, <laughs> and not processed, but I saw, you know, they have, you know, you can check it, you know, in the farmer's market itself is around the circle where you can you can hit get a hot dog or some food you know break, grab some lunch while you're there um hell dunkin donuts is right there you can you know you're in the mood for some <laughs> for some donuts hit dunkin donuts but and also one last thing i want to point out they do have live music there and this one and i picked up a perfect day to stop by because scott marshall and his one band the hillbilly souls with the farmer's market itself and between the farmer's market itself the theme with the live farm animals there their style of country music of country and rock music just i mean it created the perfect atmosphere for this where again it was almost like going back in time so you know definitely I mean, if you're visiting the area, if you're planning on moving here, the best thing I can tell you to do is check check the valley and beyond. Check out the different cities and towns, their websites to find out, you know, bands, etc. Trust me, especially now that the weather, warm weather's here and summer's arriving, you will not get bored. You will be overwhelmed at times with what to do. But check out the Eastern Farmers Market outside and. Also, keep an eye on when Weyerbacher Wednesdays start. Great way to spend a happy hour. Thank you very much to everyone, no matter where you live, for your support of the magazine. 
be safe in the night and always. And by the way, uh, I'm not exactly sure the name of this creek, but it just started raining, but I figured I'd give you a chance to take a break from the concrete and the, and the buildings. And every time I walk over this thing, I always check to see if I can see any fish. Michael Phoenix, it's been real.